Hasbro will now be making more toys than ever in its biggest deal ever. It is buying Toronto-based Studio, Studio Entertainment One. Sorry, joining us with more is BNM Bloomberg's John Ehrlichman. Fun story this it morning. Is, yeah. Fun but serious as well. We're yes. talking big money. They are a full-fledged entertainment company. Yeah. Tell us about the deal and maybe the direction they're hoping to go. Who are they hoping to compete against? Well, on that subject of stories, they're both looking for their next chapter. So Entertainment One has built a really incredible business here in Canada. They're known for family programming like Peppa Pig. Uh, but they're also known for a lot of adult programming, great TV shows, including some that air on this network, CTV, and a film business and a great distribution business around the world versus Hasbro, which also has its hand in the film and TV business with some of those storied brands, but they have largely worked with outside players. Mm -hmm. So for example, Paramount, big film, film player, helped them make G.I. Joe and Transformer movies, mm -hmm. and they would increasingly like to be calling their own shots. Uh, they looked at a company called Lionsgate a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Before that, they looked at a company called DreamWorks Animation. Disney didn't like the idea of a toy maker teaming up oh, with a sure. well-known film brand. So they couldn't find the right pick. And in Entertainment One, this company was actually targeted not to make things too complicated, by a British broadcaster, ITV, a couple of years ago. E1 said, no, we're worth more than that. So then they had to prove themselves over the last couple of years. And when Hasbro comes along and offers you $4 billion, well, it looks like it was a good meeting of the minds. Yeah, it's, we're talking about toys, but it's serious money. Oh, it, <laughs> it is. And you look at, for example, Disney owns Marvel. Remember they bought... Yeah. Marvel, well, Marvel was a comics book company that decided, no, we don't want to just license our film brand. We want to be a film studio. And you can yeah. see how that played out. And you're right, the toy merchandising tied to that. I would also add just the cost. Think of all those Marvel movies, how expensive they are. Yeah. And now you've got Apple and Amazon and Netflix uh, all launching these streaming services, mm -hmm. all paying billions of dollars. That means that if you're Entertainment One or even a Hasbro and you want to go your own way, mm -hmm. you're going to have to cough up more money to make these movies so you better to be aligned together yeah. and spend that money together when you're going up against the Disney's of the world. John, thanks so much. Thanks, Amory. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more your morning videos right here.